All right, so right here I have two sets of factory 305 heads. This one right here is a 081 casting, and th these right here, or this one right here is a 416 casting. The main difference between these two types of heads is these are the center bolt, like later model, the 081 casting is. I forgot what year they changed, but it's something like 87 and up. This is the older style that has like the perimeter bolts on the valve cover. So what I want to focus on first is the difference between the chambers and the ports. It's really hard to even see down in there, even in person, so I don't even know how I'm going to film any of this. So let's focus on the, on the chambers first. Remember, the bottom one's a 081. This is the 416 casting. All right, so the whole dimensions of the, of the combustion chamber itself is pretty much the same as far as how wide it is and how tall it is or whatever. That part's pretty much the same, but pay attention to this part right here. Notice how the top of the chamber kind of contours the, the shape of the valve. And then notice right here where the spark plug comes out. Notice where it's, it has this big square thing right here, this big area. And it's kind of pushed in. You see what I'm saying? It's definitely pushed in past the bottom of the, you know, of a straight line across the valves, right? All right, so this is the combustion chamber on the 416 head. Notice right here how the contour is a little bit, you know, it kind of has this empty space right here. And it's not the same. In other words, it's opened up a little bit more right here. That, that's not really that big of a, of a difference. That's not much material. But then notice this part. If you put a straight line across the bottom of the valves, it's that much below it. It's missing that big square piece right here. And the, and the spark plug is not pushed in about this area. So since the chambers look different, I just had a CC them. I had to check it for myself. And what I came up with was 55 cc's for the 081 heads and 59 cc's for the 416 heads. Towards the end of the video, I'll show what I did to CC them. It's probably not the best method, but I just wanted to show that I actually tried. <laughs> anyway. Okay, these are the 081s. You see those little that little pattern? It almost looks like machine marks. I've never seen a factory. To me, that doesn't look like a factory head. It looks like it's been milled, but I'm not really sure. Just my opinion, this is this is a, a head that I'm saying hasn't been milled. To me, they should be looking like that. I'm not going to claim like I know for sure what I'm talking about, but I just kind of noticed that, and maybe that's the reason why they're 55 cc's. Anyway, let's move on to looking at the ports. All right, if one looks bigger or smaller, it's, they're, they're at different distances. They're pretty much the same. I've, I've already taken this. This is a an old gasket, and I've tried to compare them. Like you put up against that wall, you see that little edge. See that little edge, and I've and I've measured them. So that's exactly five centimeters or two inches almost. And then you measure across the middle. It's like I don't know, like maybe twenty-seven millimeters. Well, that one has a little thing chip on it, I think, but it's, I don't know, it's like 28, 27, it's pretty, it's pretty close. Okay, then you have the obvious difference of these little things. You know, everything else seemed to be about the same dimensions, but then you have this, which I, I'm guessing is part of the material, so that way they can uh, bore a hole in there for the, you know, for the bolts that these don't have. So in my opinion, that makes it quite a bit uglier. You know, that, like, that has to be some type of restriction. You know, how, how can that not... I mean, I, I'm guessing depending on how the manifold mounts up to it or matches up to it, that has to be some type of... It has to be like some turbulence or something. Cause some turbulence. Okay, this is kind of pointless because it's really hard to see. But all I can really tell you is that this is the 081 head and this surface is a little bit smoother 
it has a little bit less roughness inside of it. But yeah, that's pretty pointless. The only thing I can really talk about inside the port is that this area, like right in here about two or three inches in, around here, on the zero on the 081 castings they seem to be a little bit more opened up in that area for whatever that's worth I know that's I'm not actually measuring it with anything so that's just kinda like my opinion here goes the 416 casting these things are a little bit bigger these little circles that all the heads have in them that I don't even know what that is but uh, this is kinda pointless so I'm gonna move on to something else like I said, the only difference is the 081 seemed to be a little bit more opened up in this area, like down in there. I know I really didn't do a very good job of comparing the two ports because I didn't have anything to measure it with. This is the first time I ever did a video on comparing cylinder heads. Maybe next time I'll make sure I have something better, something to measure with instead of just looking at it and say, hey, that looks bigger. Anyway, let's move on to something else. Here just goes some random stuff that I noticed. Right here it has like a circle shape that kind of it kind of contours where the where the push rod would be. And it's just it's the shape that kind of like you know you can kind of see the edge of it right there. This head has it on on both of those. This is the other 081 casting. It's the same casting as I just showed. It doesn't have that. It doesn't have that on either one. Right here, it doesn't have, it's just smooth. And these two, these are both the 081 castings. They're, they're supposed to be off of a, like a match set off the same engine from the factory. Okay, so now I'm gonna point out the other, the other differences. So this is the 081 casting, like the later model. It's most likely like 87, uh, I forgot the exact year, but it's the one with the center bolt valve covers. Notice this is raised up higher and it doesn't have, it doesn't have any holes for the valve cover because they're in the middle. One more difference is on this type of head you have to use a self-aligning rocker arm and what that means it has this groove, this like notch uh, cut into or made into it so that way it stays straight with the, with the valve. Okay, so this is the older model head, and the reason you could get away with running rock arms that are not self-aligning, why that didn't even exist, I don't think, is because this is the path where the where the where the push rod goes. Notice how it's it's pretty tight. It, it has a little bit of wiggle, but that's probably because it's it's old, you know. On the near on the newer style, on the zero eight one casting, the one that needs the self-aligning rock arms. That's the same, that's, you know, that's where the push rod would go. See how much looser it is. I, I have no idea why they're done like that, but that's just how it is. So then you can't use your fancy roller tip rockers unless you uh, do a whole bunch of work to these. That's not even hardly worth it. See, here's that other obvious difference I was talking about. This one has, you know, studs put in it. It has places to mount the valve cover, and this one has it in the middle. Center bolt and perimeter bolt. Perimeter, center. One more difference is that on the old style, this is the 416 head, all these bolts go in at the same angle, which is flat to this surface. And on the 081 heads, or the later style, these go in straight and these go in at an angle. Which that could be confusing because whenever they're in the car, these are the ones they say go straight down. Like with the horizon, I guess, but these go straight down with the flange surface. But anyway, the two middle ones are different. That's all you need to know. Well, I'm going to go ahead and move to the part where I CC these heads. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and check the chamber volume of these two different heads. I'm not going to lie. I'm this. 
this is the first time I've ever done this. I mean, even though I did it several times on each one of these. So I'm not guaranteeing that these are very accurate results. But what I'm doing is I'm using this piece of polycarbonate or I don't know if that's plexiglass or if that's different. But anyway, it's this thin, thin sheet. I drilled a hole in it. And then I drilled a hole in it for a vent. Oh, I did that because I kept getting bubbles that wouldn't come out. That seemed to help. And then I'm using a veterinary syringe that holds 60 cc's of fluid. And I'm also mixing half alcohol. This is, well, this is like 91%, so I'm basically almost mixing it half and half. That's what I did. And sealing it with grease. I'm not going to show me setting all that up because, like I said, this is not a how-to on how to CC heads because I'm new to it. Uh, but I just wanted to prove a point. And that point is that sometimes these heads are not what they seem. Like, any normal person would assume these are both 58 CC chambers. Well, like I showed in the beginning of the video, the 081s obviously have space taken up by that square thing and by the, by the shape, overall shape. And then also, they probably are milled. And that's why I came out with 55. That's, that's the, only, the only thing I could come up with. Anyway, let's go ahead and... All right, so I have a 60cc syringe right here. Put it on 60. And right here I did, I made I made this hole right here for it to breathe because it was always filling up like an air pocket across the, the top right there. And that's about all I went over, but there is a tiny air pocket there and there. Now here goes the 081 casting. I'm going to do it the, same, the exact same way. Put it right on 60. And I'm still on five cc's. So basically there you go. That's that's a uh, like 55 cc's on the chamber on this one. Probably too much glare, but yeah, there's no, no bubbles, no more. Okay, so that was a quick look at how I got my chamber volumes. And I'm confused on the numbers. I also don't feel that my measurements are very exact, but I am confident these two heads have about four cc's difference. You know, maybe there was some human error involved, I don't really know. But to be honest, I don't really like this method, and the next time I CC some heads, I'm definitely going to get a burette and probably a better plate. You know, because I don't understand where the 59 came from. You know, maybe I spilt a little bit. I mean, it shows that I spilt a very small amount, which I don't think that amounts to anything. But actually doing it with the syringe, it's, it's really hard to put that little last little bit in there. I mean, it's not... I don't know. I've, I've never used a burette, but I'm thinking you might have better control. And there's a reason why they exist. This is a really cheap device. You know, maybe I didn't really get the amount really perfect or something. But, but like I said, next time I do some heads, it's going to be with the burette and maybe some measuring tools because I think I didn't do a very good job on this, but that's the best I can do for now. 
And as far as the difference on which one flows better, I don't really know. They say the 081s flow better. They do appear to be a little bit more opened up and a little bit smoother. And then maybe the placement of the spark plug being in the middle makes them burn better or something. I don't really know. But that's all I got for now. The end.